Hey everybody, it's me. I'm in the OCC Physics Labs for just a little bit to do some lab tech work, but while I was here I realized I should take an advantage of the access to the equipment and show my students the photoelectric effect. This is the phenomenon that launched quantum mechanics. We've got a power supply set up and I've got, it's kind of like a spark gap. This is actually a a tiny neon bulb and this tiny neon fluorescent bulb has an insufficient voltage to fluoresce it but if I apply an ultraviolet light like I am with this laser to the electrodes boop, I get it to light this is the photoelectric effect if I take switching the light off I'm going to apply the voltage once again if I take a red laser I'm going to show you this my red laser does not have sufficient energy to liberate those electrons. I have to have an ultraviolet laser to do it. The photoelectric effect. That's also why if I have a glow-in-the-dark sheet or any of the glow-in-the-dark material, you'll notice that Red is not quite sufficient to light that up, but ultraviolet does just fine. Miss you guys. Hope you're doing well. I'll see you in recitation.